Should I tell her? My mom 33 is bisexual but leans more towards women. She's dating this amazing, nice, sincere woman 32 alright. So I'm legit typing this as I hear this. So my mom invited a friend over and I had already been a bit suspicious. She made me clean my room and other things. But I had a feeling something like this was going to happen, so I had stayed away from this friend. But I walked in there and spoke with them and my younger sister. My mom asked me to stay and talk to her friend I noticed her friend was complimenting me a lot. A bit suspicious, okay, so fast forward I showered and joined them again. At this time it's like 1am. We're all talking and then I leave the room my mom hands me $20. So I return to my room. She then shut her door. Okay 2am, I hear loud moaning. I'm completely horrified, I just shook my head. I realized that the money she gave me was hush money. I know what cheating does to people, I was cheated on and haven't returned to myself since. So I'm so shocked that my own flesh and blood would do this. Not to mention that her partner is extremely sensitive. She only went away for a day, she's supposed to be coming back in the morning. So if my mom gets caught and gets us murdered then chilly, literal tears are pouring from my eyes. I am heartbroken, and I can hear them laughing and talking. It's disgusting. I hate cheaters. My mom was even planning on marrying her partner and knowing that Shed pulls something like this. Story 2, my husband had an emotional affair. I have been with my husband 33 for over 15 years and married almost 7. We have one daughter together and we have had a good relationship from my perspective. We never really had arguments main disagreements were about household chores and him helping more with our daughter who is 3. One month ago, he abruptly started having issues with insomnia and was not able to sleep. Three nights in, he woke up at 1 in the morning, and I could hear him getting ready to leave the house. I got up and he said he was going to go to work because he could not sleep. After that I questioned him as he was cheating which he laughed off. Throughout the month, he became more distant, was no longer intimate with me, was more attached to his phone than ever before. I asked him a few more times and he still denied cheating stating he would never do that to me. When things didn't get better I kept pressing for answers and what to do to fix our situation. After multiple talks he finally admitted he had strong feelings for another girl 21F. He still wouldn't call it cheating although he has been texting her, deleting their conversations, sharing books and going on hiking excursions with her while my mother watched our child thinking he was working or not feeling well. When asked to end it he said he didn't know how to. Since then I asked him to move out because I couldn't just sit around and wait to see if he would lose interest in her and come back to me. It's been a week since he left the house and it's as if I never mattered to him. I am so incredibly hurt and he is just completely fine. I don't understand how someone can just move on that quickly with no remorse. Story 2, Update If anyone has any advice on healing, I would greatly appreciate it. I have good days and bad days, but even on my best days I have a moments where my thoughts become very dark. Today has been especially hard. I just feel so worthless and keep telling myself that I'm not interesting enough to ever be meaningful to someone. Story 3, I've been sent an anonymous message saying my husband has been cheating on me. I've just received an anonymous text that has a fair amount of detail. It had our surname in it, the dates they were screenshots of Instagram DMs coincided with times he wasn't home before Christmas. My husband doesn't have Instagram as far as I know and I have no way of confirming this is his account. There's also one small bit of private information about me that I find really embarrassing but he'd never mentioned he thought of me like that if he does think that way to do with me being shy when we have sex it's not exactly wrong. I feel like my world is about to come crumbling down. For the record, we don't have kids we're newlyweds and just about to get a dog and cat next month. He's never shown me anything but love. Is there any way I can trace this number? They're not replying and I'm having a breakdown. I don't know what to do or whether to believe it. What would you make of this? Story 4, today I took off my wedding ring. 
For the final time, for 16 and 1 2 years I have worn this ring as a committed sign of my devotion and integrity to our marriage. The volume of evidence I have discovered is soul crushing. I can't do it anymore. I am dead inside. I can't believe she's done this to us. Today I take back my self-esteem and self-respect. Tomorrow I file the forms for legal separation. I really hate her. Story 4, Update. We're done. Reconciliation will not happen. Cheating wife has made her decision, and it's not me. But I'm not sure her AP has made a similar decision. Don't know if his wife knows about her husband's affair with my wife. How do I tell his wife about them without her reacting in disbelief? If she doesn't believe me, she'll ask him directly. That will trigger their lies and they'll take the relationship into deeper hiding. How can I get his wife to believe me without exposing to them that she knows? How do I pursue her to work with me to gather information? I'd like her to hear all of my information and discoveries. She should know. What's the best way? Story 4, Update 2 I've thought of them all, the adjectives that could describe them. Narcissistic selfish egomaniacal sense of entitlement weak pathetic lacking honor. The list goes on. I often think about what I'd do, or say, if I had the opportunity to confront him. How I'd ask him that question, then answer it for him, before he had the chance to fill in that awkward silent space. I'd watch the shame and humiliation wash over his face, or was that pride and hubris, infuriates me. How would you answer that question, in that setting? Story 5, Wife cheated on me and Prego. Not sure it's mine. So my wife is pregnant and doing the standard tests that come with pregnancy. This is our third. Child. First two were without issues. Got a call from the doctor to come three in for further tests. I asked what the test was for and she called the doctor and asked. Turns out it's for STDs. She didn't have any STDs the first two pregnancies. So I asked her why she would all of a sudden have a one now if I was the only person she was with. She came clean and told me about how she cheated on me once there was no way to explain it away any other way. Given the time frame it happened Teresa good chance the baby might not be mine. She insisted it's mine but I insisted that we get a paternity test immediately. She didn't seem to happy I wanted to do that. It cost me $2,000 to get it done. Still waiting on the results. I told her if it's not mine it's not going to be in my house. I told her if it's not mine and she expects to live in my house she will have to have an abortion. Or get the hell out with nothing whatsoever. Plenty more info if interested. Just need to process things. Story 5, Update. Kid is mine. 